Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome to Egypt Old Kingdom. That's what we're gonna be trying out today. Now, what is this game? It's a kind of a strategy game, a turn-based system. Um, it's made by Cla Claris Victoria, who were uh, nice enough to send me the game key for free. It just came out on Steam like a couple of days ago, I believe. And I already played one of those games in the series, the Egypt... Uh, pre-dynastic Egypt, pre-dynastic Egypt is what it's called right now. It used to be called pre-civilization Egypt when I played it, which was like in September, October 2016, I believe, something like that. That's when I played it, and now they made an, a sequel, and I'm gonna play that as well. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, quite a lot of people actually enjoyed it on my channel as well, and uh, I was actually positively surprised. So we're gonna play this. Uh, apparently this game is even a better version of that old one. Uh, it also follows uh, history very thoroughly, apparently. They've been, Clarus Victoria have been uh, actually uh, doing stuff with uh, actual historians and archeologists. So, uh, you know what, let's play, let's start a new game and let's see how things work out. Now, we need to choose a prologue. Reasons for our survival, generosity of the gods, choice the gods gave us and patron god of Memphis. Now we have the Organized migration, re recommended for beginners, lots of starting resources. We have the uh, forced relocation, historical variant, uh -huh, gives you uh, extra final score, and survival. Few starting resources, final score is plus two. We're gonna go with the historical variant, forced relocation. Our lands could no longer sustain the whole tribe, so part of our tribe had to leave. Now, the second one. Earthly Paradise, beginners, uh, Land of Order, Historical, you gotta, we're gonna go with uh, Historical Variant. Land of Order, good and evil exist in equilibrium in these lands. Okay, balanced number of useful and harmful uh, finds on the city map, roughly equal number of positive and negative events. Cool stuff, I like it roughly equal. And uh, over here, this one, ooh, Predestination. Our fate is already decided by gods and we're just fulfilling their will. No manual saves, loading the game deletes the autosave. Damn! No manual saves, autosave only, and save and load at any time. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with freedom of will. We are the masters of our own fate and are free to decide it by our own will because I'm doing this for YouTube, so I need to save and load whenever I need to. Like, if the game crashes on me, I need to be able to have it saved and loaded. So, that's what we're gonna do. Patron God of Memphis. Uh, apparently, this is the historical variant as well. Playstyle building, playstyle order, or playstyle devious. Uh, we gotta go with the historical variant over here. The creator god and patron of artisans. He will help us to build great pyramids. This one would be... He will help to uphold order in Egypt and its outskirts. That's Horus. And Seth. He will give us strength and terrify our enemies. We're gonna go with the uh, historical variant. Our name shall be... Uh, Coco the first. Or shall we do over the first like this? Yes. Begin. High difficulty. We recommend that you first complete the game using the default settings, organized migration, earthly paradise. Otherwise, the game might seem too difficult. Uh, what? <clears throat> this one and this one? Uh, no, I think I'm fine with this one. I'm just gonna go with this. Yes, play anyway. I am okay with that. It might be hard. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. But you know what? I played a strategy game before. And we did choose their difficulty, I believe. So it shouldn't be too bad, right? Boom. It plays kind of like Civ. So. Lack of free land in Upper Egypt forced us to move there. This is uh, this is a decent place for a new settlement. In order to have us earn a right to rule this land, the gods command us tribe to grow. Goal. Increase the tribe size to 5. Reward one time plus 10 of, I guess, wheat and hammers. Get to know what to accomplish to win the game. Okay. You start a game in future Memphis region. You present one of the tribes in, of Upper Egypt, colonizing Lower Egypt. To successfully complete the game, you must build a powerful nation within 30, uh, uh, 300 turns, 1400 years to survive a harsh final trial. I believe in my uh, last uh, playthrough, when I played the, uh, like the other Egypt game, I believe I failed that in the end. So, this is hills. We need to scout that. I need to remember how to uh, play this game, actually. Uh, wild cereal, okay. Uh, food, a sound worker to start producing this research. Okay, um, 
We can create workers. Cost 10 wheat and one of luxuries. Okay. And it costs one wheat and 0 0.1 luxury every turn. Okay. We have one guy, which we can drop over here. This guy is going to be producing uh, a wild cereal, I guess. Yeah, I think so. You can create tools. Okay, we can create a masterpiece. Cool. Uh, we want to grow uh, people, right? So I can use you already. Uh, we can use you to scout down there. Yeah, I can't right now grow any more people. Over here is the map of the Egypt, still unavailable. We have the cults over here. We can't worship those guys yes, yet. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and we have technologies. Okay. We discovered this one, so this ones are still locked. We cost 30 of the technology stuff, which is called culture. Okay, so we have army over here. Luxuries, production, food. We're not generating any food right now. This worker is generating some stuff. Uh, there is tutorial. Food is one of the most important resources to prevent famine. Try to produce as much wheat as possible. Keep it a stockpile just in case. Without plenty of food, population growth is impossible. I agree. Let's uh, go next turn. This is going to be revealed by one of my workers who is now over here. Good. Need territory explored. Exploration tutorial. Uh, yeah, scouts will bring us important information. Notifications. Notification icon sometimes appear on the right side of the screen. This is left side of the screen. Okay, uh, this one is the right, this is the left, which is tutorial camera controls. Yes, I get I get that one. This is my quest. Uh, we are in the arid period right now. Population of Egypt, Egypt grows slower. Okay, cool. First chiefs. Our tribe is led by a clan of upper Egyptian origin. People of that clan trace their lineage to Horus, the solar god. Any chief is considered to be his personification. Horus chiefs have supernatural powers and won't let any harm come to our tribe. Beautiful. Okay, now over here we have thickets. Thickets dominate the terrain in this area. You have to cut them down. Nothing can be built over here. Or this guy over here is hunting. Rising over the floodplains, they are the best places to live and work in. Okay. We can improve this place. Oh, this is how you do it, huh? We can build houses, which is going to give us production growth. Okay, we are losing production right now. <clears throat> Plus four to maximum people. Okay. Wait. Like this, it upkeep is one production every turn. Well, growth is plus 0.3 production every turn. That, I don't quite get that. We can barracks over here. We can build a workshop. Uh, and then we lose wild cereal, which helps us produce food, right? Yeah, we, we don't necessarily want to do that on the cereal. We want to do that maybe over here in the thickets. Okay, uh, we're going to assign this worker. Is there any place that one turn over here? Let's assign this worker over here. We can't get any new people because we need food for that. Okay, so next turn. Okay, this one has some food. But this one also has lions. Chance of death of a pup in this neighborhood area. Plus 15%, huh? Pack of hyenas er also. Damn. Those hills over here are dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, can I? Have you work over here? That's going to start producing a food. We're not going to be exploring anything. Population is the most important resource in the game. To build a large shop, you have to accumulate of supply... A supply of food and use them to create a large size of population. Population of population will overcome any ordeal. Each population symbolizes a social group roughly numbering 250 adults, seniors and children. Oh, that's kind of cool that they did it that way. I kind of like it. This guy is still providing us food over here, so that's fine. And new territory has been explored over here. Uh, what we're going to do right now is just going to keep on spamming the next, uh, uh, next button, next turn button, until we get uh, this one. I think I can create more workers. First Egyptian chiefdoms. In Upper Egypt, strong tribes have subjugated their neighbors and created tribal unions. Chiefdoms. Ambos, Abydos, and Hierakon, Hierakonpolis are center of such chiefdoms. Isn't Polis like a Greek uh, name for a city? So, I guess the Greeks gave the name when they met the Egyptian to that place, maybe? I don't know. Probably they didn't call it that. I don't know. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say that. 
Our senators are chiefdoms. They are ruled by chiefs tracing their divine lineage from Seth, Wepwawet, and Horus. Wepwawet? I've never heard of this god before. Seth and Horus, yes, they are known gods, but Wepwawet? Never before, you know? Well, I am... Ooh! Impudent hyenas! Hungry hyenas charmed by evil spirits came to our settlement. They are stealing our food and frightening us with their demonic laughter, although they are still too cowardly to attack people. We have to do something. Evil hyenas have settled in our lands, remaining one turn. That is not bad. Examine the animals. Okay. Animals live all around Egypt. Uh, Egyptians and are an important part of their life. We can hunt animals or worship them and please them by bringing gifts. After thoroughly feeding the animals, we will be able to tame them and even make them uh, live among humans. Remember, high relations increase bonuses and decrease penalties. Cool. So, 14 turns of hyenas over here. Minus 50% food every turn over here. 8% aggressive. Okay, we have those guys over here. I can examine them. And click on them. We can attack them. Chance of success, 30% every turn. Chance of slaughter, 5% every turn. In case of success, plus 8 production. Okay. In case of success, heinous will disappear. We can worship them. It's gonna give us extra favor. Okay. Any surplus thereof allows us to ask for divine assistance. That sounds kinda cool. Uh, we can domesticate them. We need 10 food for that. So, and 100% relations. No. And we can feed them. We don't have food. Uh, I'm gonna try hunting them because that is what I'm doing. So we have 30% chance to do it every turn. Hey! All heinous were slaughtered. Plus 8 production. Love it. We are gathering food again. Let's go. This is gonna take like a million years to actually get this. Tribes. Our tribe is not the only one. We have numerous neighbors. Soon we will have to unite them all under the rule of Horus. Build relationships as carefully as you pick your allies and enemies. Remember, friendship makes trade more profitable, while enemies can unite against you. I agree. Uh, why are we losing... Uh, why are we not making as much food anymore? These two are the same, aren't they? I mean, still arid period. I understand that. Uh, we can do something with cults we can now worship one of those it costs 10 of the worship stuff you know Ptas, patron god of all craftsmen 10 percent production 10 percent culture for five turns this is culture no this is something else what is this luxuries right that's Pta. horus 10 percent culture 10 percent uh fighting power army stuff seth uh, we plead with the king to call on the gods to prevent evil that Seth commits against our land. Protection from two common negative events. Yeah. And happy. Very happy. Plus 10% food growth during five turns. That is what we need right now. I mean, we're growing one food per turn, so plus 10% food is not really great. But over here, like, I don't know. Probably the best thing would be, like, maybe culture. For more stuff but i think i'm gonna go with happy just for yeah worship happy happy is happy ah uh, you know what you lied to me but i like this favor and cults favor is your authority in the eyes of gods and ancestors to receive it you'll need to build cemeteries temples and appease the powers that be the best you can in exchange you will be able to ask for their assistance and patronage through cults menu choose your patron deities wisely your future depends on it uh well First contact with Canaan. First contact has been established between Egyptians and the people of Canaan. The Egyptians' nobility highly values the equality, the quality of elite goods from that region. So, wares from the north have become object of desire for any respectable chief. I am not really a respectable chief right now. I'm just gonna say that. Sorry. Have blessing or happy for five turns. Um, I can check the text. We can unlock some text now. Uh, available to discover. Production civilization start to develop in Egyptian communities. Cosmetics. I mean, we can unlock five right now, so in, I think we can. Yeah. So. This is more culture. So, well, culture unlocks more of this stuff. So. I mean, we can domesticate cats as much as we would like to do that. I think getting more culture right away is more beneficial. So, discover that. Boom. That noise sounds like something from Sif to me. <laughs> okay, uh, like, just a bit more. Autosave. The game has been automatically saved. It's now available in the autosave slot. Five turns. Okay. One more turn, boys, and we can 
get one more person. Hotkeys. Okay. F5 to quick save. Okay, that's fine. That's that's all okay. Ten turn. That gives us food. Finally. Oh, antelope herds. Gods have been directed antelope herds to, to one of our areas. We can hunt them or praise the gods through them. We were encountered by the Ibis tribe and they showed us their lands. We found people this tribe to be neutral to us. We had better act carefully as we do not know what they will do. Sounds cool. The Ibis tribe found us. Where the hell are you? Examine. Down here is the Ibis tribe. Probably stronger than me. I don't know. Uh, division of Proto-Indo-Europeans. A division of tribes speaking Proto-Indo-European languages taking place in the Pontic Caspian steppes. Or step. Over time, these tribes will spread across the world and will create new civilizations speaking English, Hindi, Russian, Farsi, German, Greek, and many other languages. I love this uh, historical thing. It's the patron god you choose in the prologue will aid you. Ta, Horus, or Seth. Um, did I choose the happy one? <laughs> Each of these gods give you unique bonuses and actions. Some are always available on the control panel next to the create worker button, but some will appear as the game progresses. Remember to exploit the advantages of your patron god. Well, we can create tools. Right now we will create workers. Hey, got another dude who's gonna not go over here. Uh, actually, let's see what this antelope is gonna do. They're aggressive. Uh, I, if I can hunt them down, I'm gonna get food. I can worship. Yeah. I can't really domesticate them. I wanna feed them. I'm gonna try hunting them, yeah. And I'm gonna grab my extra worker and we're gonna go explore like stuff over here. Yeah, I kinda like that. Uh we have enough to unlock extra tech, so I'm gonna domesticate the cats as that is of course one of the most important things. Let's do that. We have 7,500 people now. No, not 7,500 people. That's, <laughs> that's definitely not true. 750 people would be more like it. Okay. Tall papyrus. Papyrus goes especially tall and dense in this area. Plus stuff. Okay. Swamps. Nothing can be built here. We will have to drain them. We have food and production over here. And a blessing and a happy. Need territory explo uh, exploited, yes. Now we are really not getting much food per turn. Uh, of course, I could get my worker to work over here, get some more. Um, here, can we destroy this tickle? Uh, and one time plus five in four turns. Uh -huh, production of other resources will be halted. If I do this, oh, I need public works to actually do this. Never mind. Uh, I am gonna drop these guys to explore a bit more. I could do this this over here as well. Never mind. Uh, spoilage. Some of your resources are susceptible to wear and tear. Spoilage just gradually pilfering. You will lose five percent of food production and luxuries each turn. It is thus disadvantageous for you to stockpile large amounts of these resources? Yes, uh, I see that we are losing stuff. Don't you worry about that. Now I can uh, worship these people again. Uh, I think I'm gonna worship Happy again. Yeah, worship Happy again. Okay, now we have blessing of Happy. We're not really making much food, <clears throat> but that's fine. Uh, let's end the turn. Oh, we explore a bit more. This guy's gonna do something. Lions of Mangler worker? Excuse me, where the hell did the lions come from? <laughs> now we lost another person, did we? Yeah, we lost another dude. Oh, that's crap. We explore this stuff. Lions! This was our, like, main place. And they came from here, I guess. It was bastards. Lions. Why did it have to be lions? What is this? River. This is Nile over here. We can't build here, but we can do, like, fishing, I guess. It's cool. We can do another tech, which is the craft. Okay, I think I, I am fine with that. That's uh, gonna stop the decay of some of these resources. This is fine. I'm gonna get you to uh, explore a bit more. Let's do that. Oh, we lost 250 people because of uh, some stupid lions. That is crap. Okay, there's more lion stuff over here. You know what? 
Ooh, Royal Hunt, our glorious king, to uphold his mighty bull title, decided to go hunt some animals in the countryside. This time, many of their lions are his quarry. Hunting is dangerous past them and carries the risk of death for a beloved horse. Hunt Chester says 60%, not that good, is it now? Uh, hunt, encourage the king in this dangerous uh, endeavor. Case of success, plus 10 of stuff. He has a failure, death of king. <laughs> That's probably bad. Tell king about ill portents and talk him out of the hunt. As they begin to slaughter these animals, decreases to 50%. Damn. Ugh. Those, those guys, huh? It's those guys. I don't know what to tell him. You know what? We're gonna slaughter them. Crap! Our king challenged very dangerous animals to a deadly battle and slew many of them before being devoured. Apparently the gods does decide to get rid of the weak king. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I had to gamble, right? Right? I, I don't know if I had to, but we lost our king. No, no worries there. Yeah. No worries there. Let's explore this place. Uh, this is Hills. Ooh, this is a city place, huh? Acacia over here. Hills. More lions. Badly lions. Uh, I'm gonna go back here with this guy. I'm gonna again hunt the antelopes. And we're gonna end the turn. Hopefully, not get eaten by freaking uh, lions again. Papyrus people. Our scouts have stumbled upon the lands of the Papyrus tribe. We found uh, people of this tribe to be hostile to us. This can create quite a lot of trouble for us in the future as we can expect all kinds of villainy from them. Great! Awesome! And the blessings of Happy. Great. Heyday of Hierakopolis. Hierakonpolis. The upper Egyptian chiefdom centered around Hierakonpolis was some of the most powerful, rivaling Ombos and Abydos. At the peak of its power, Hierakonpolis was a city with fortified walls, a magnificent temple of Horus, a dazzling white, excuse me, royal palace, and artisan's quarters. Great! There's dudes over here that are evil, and I don't like them. And they're fishing over here, the bastards. Uh. Ancestors are departing, huh? Anyway, you know what? This is gonna be... What is this ancestors? Another generation of ancestor rulers have departed for the line of the dead. It's duty of the living to honor and sustain them so that they would help the living in return. We shouldn't also forget their own ancestor as well as the forefather gods themselves. I agree. Now, for now, thank you everyone for watching. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more Do magic. And I'll see you next time. Coco out.